Welcome along to South Today Sport and our highlights package of the last pre-season match for the Southland Stags against Otago here at Molyneux Park in Alexandra in front of the Otago country fans and many have turned up to see this fixture. First possession to Otago with Josh Renton putting the ball high. It'll be contestable for Southland and uh, grabbed by Otago in the end. It looks like a knock-on scrum to the Stags. More possession for the home team as uh, Hayden Parker fires his backs into action and uh, they're looking full of running today. The fullback Trent Renater, the new signing from the Waikato, now playing his provincial rugby down south and the captain Charlie O'Connell takes it into the conflict. The advantage is going to Otago and uh, they'll move across field, try and keep it alive. It's pre-season, they can be very industrious at this stage of the season and find themselves on the receiving end of a penalty. They'll have a shot from there for sure. And Hayden Parker, accurate as always, brings the target the lead by three points to nil. And Scott Ede having the first run to uh, Sokawanga. It's a uh, great signing that for the Stags for two years. The young man from Wellington has made a huge impact at the Highlanders and they hope We'll do the same in Maroon. This time it's Southland getting the penalty for the non-release. Sopwonga missed the first kick, but uh, totally accurate with the second. Brings the scores at three apiece. More possession and advantage for Southland and Jamie McIntosh taking a run. And, uh, Rutledge for helping with the clean out. And Scott Ede goes to the right and Sopwonga also keen to feed it on. Uh, this is a bit of ball from the Stags. They've been on the back foot for early part, and it looked like a very promising break from Mark Jackman, the previous lead from the Hawks Bay. And it comes to an end. Now they're trying to keep it alive. Kahukura, first chance for him with ball in hand, and always looking good this season when he gets a bit of space, and did so on that occasion. Scott Ede absolutely smashed by the. Targo, Hayden Parker there tidying it up and the captain O'Connell taking it further. He's having a grand game in his first game in charge of the team. And uh, a promising move for the men in blue. Turns into a penalty. Quick ta taken by Renton. He's uh, showing good awareness around that base of the breakdown. Gets into Southland territory if only just Parker keeps it going. And, uh, not the easiest of handling conditions. There's a gentle breeze around but it's a cool they do it well on this occasion, Otago. Renton again. This time, Michael Collins is showing some really good pace. So promising, this young man. Yet to fulfil that promise, but this could be his year. And uh, there's another Highlander, Tom Franklin. A very useful super season himself, and wants to impose himself. NPC level, also close to the line. There's good defence though by Southland, under real pressure, and they have been for some time in this first half. A lot of ball, Otago's way, and some good tackling, and Sopawanga come up early, and of course that's why the pass went astray, and uh, no way was Huatai able to get through the Southland defence. So a big tick in the box for protecting their line under extreme pressure. So on the knock of half time, and talk about knocks, it's been uh, tapped forward there by Otago off the top of the line out. Unless Southland can recover this and do something with it, it will be the break, and that's what Garrett Williamson signals. Very close encounter here. Otago perhaps a dominant in territory position, but it's three all at the break. The ball for Franklin from the top of the line out. The kick of the chase, and beautifully recovered by Furtai, and he's put it to boot. Cover defences there, if only just. And it's uh, Taylor Adams getting back eventually and put his, his body on the line, which is uh, good work by the halfback who's come on at the break. And they'll get themselves out of trouble with Southland. If uh, the ball stays in play, Ensor kept it going, but it'll be Peter Breen that runs it back up. He's now in the first five roll, as he has played many times before. Uh, Parker having a break and this little foray into Southland Territory sees Otago keeping the ball from the big men and by Siuli able to keep it alive and that's his uh, opposite Sasangi. 
two front rows getting some time with the ball in their grasp. And Collins, well, not able to get through Jackman. And the penalty ensues. So Peter Breen will have a shot at goal. And he'll be as successful as Parker and Otago is going to lead by three. High kick from Breen will be chased and it was taken well on this occasion. It was again solid cover by Taylor and this is a nice break from Boyanga. First time really Southland have had a chance to really stretch the defence and Boyanga could go all the way on a good cover tackle, denies them the try but only just. Back inside the Southland Territory and O'Connell has um, set a fine example in terms of work rate for his uh, fellow teammates. Brickhouse took it up and uh, on his shoulder was Joe Latter. A mobile pack this Otago team and they've got, bought themselves a penalty here right in front of the posts. Peter Breen, accurate the first time and is so again. Lead now six in Otago's favour. The more ball for Otago, they've not been short of possession, they will be frustrated though, not able to break down the south and defence, and yet again, just as they look promising, the ball's been turned over, and no chance, uh, Fatty Lowe for tidying that ball up, and Tim Boy's in the action, good to see him back on the field, and now they start to threaten, this is buying a, oh the lovely pop pass, this is a wonderful try, Lola Loco, he won't be stopped from there, good pace. Beautiful setup, a lovely little dinky pass from Boyinga, and the first try of the afternoon goes the way of the Stags. No conversion, so the lead just one to Southland. And now starting to find a few holes. Hubba Hollow and now Taylor Adams has really come on fired up. Wants to win that starting number nine jersey. And uh, little local. And confidence with that try under his belt. Not able to get through this time. Both defences have been very tidy indeed after conceding a lot of points in their previous pre-season games. And this time Otago looked to have turned it over. It's uh, solid work in the contact area. The pass wasn't the best, so the improvised kick possibly got off of it. Beautifully recovered, but a foot in touch means it'll come to mount. To a buddy now in the hooking berth and his first throw sees Southland get some ball and Adams get it away to Sopawonga. It's come on for some more game time and it's good to see him spending that time with the squad and getting used to the patterns. And it's slow ball to Southland but ball nevertheless and Adams buries himself in there to try and pick it out, can't, and Otago turn it over. So Otago in search of their first try and doing everything they can think of out the back. A oh, huge tackle from Carter Boeing in there. That brought the move to a prompt stop. And a hand on the ground there, I think, yes. Not releasing the player means penalty in Otago's favour. Breen from in front, he's been accurate all day and is so for another three. That means Otago stretched the lead to four. Fringes, Otago have been pretty accurate and looking after the ball and they know the clock favours them. They've got this lead and they just don't want to turn over position and give Southland a chance to run it in from afar. It's the only way that Otago will be denied a victory here. And a good many people have turned out from Alexandra and the surrounds to enjoy this victory for Otago as they'll go into the NPC campaign with a win over Southland. It uh, was hard earned on a day that uh, conditions were sometimes against them, but Otago the victors by 12 to 8. Problem.